Next, we'll talk about the wildcard character. In regular expressions, this is written as a period or dot. The wildcard matches any single character. This includes upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and any other symbol. When used as part of a larger expression, the wildcard indicates that any character is valid in its place. For example, this regular expression will match any four characters ending with OOD. Food, good, five OOD, semicolon OOD, and many more would all be considered matches. However, OOD on its own would not. Note, you may wish the correct answer to contain an actual period. To indicate that a period is meant to be part of the text and not a meta character in the regular expression, precede the period by a backslash. The slash will not be considered part of the answer. The same technique applies to any meta character, simply preceded by a backslash to indicate it is part of the string and not a meta character. Many different meta characters exist that are similar to the wildcard, but which match different sets of characters. For a full list of all such meta characters, see the documentation on understanding regular expressions. Next, we will cover character repetition. The asterisk, or star character, is used for this purpose. The star meta character means that the preceding character may be repeated any number of times, including zero times, and this will still be counted as a match. For example, the regular expression O star would count any number of repeated O's as a match. It would also count a blank input as a match, since this counts as zero repetitions of the O character. The star can also be applied to sub-expressions created with round braces. This regular expression would count any number of repetitions of HO as a match. Other meta-characters exist for matching specific numbers of repetitions. For a list of all such meta-characters, see the documentation on regular expressions. There is also a meta-character that allows you to specify the minimum number of repetitions to be matched. This is done using the curly braces. Following the expression to be repeated, enclose a number in curly braces. In this example, the input will count as a match if it contains at least five repetitions of HO in a row. Meta characters can be used in conjunction to create more complex regular expressions. In this example, we have used a pipe in two sequential sub expressions. This will match strings beginning with either JULY or JUL, followed by either FIRST, 1ST, or 1. This means that any combination consisting of one item from each set is valid. Using a regular expression in this case is much more efficient than typing out every possible combination as a separate correct answer. This example uses the pipe in combination with character repetition. The repetition applies to the entire expression in round braces, meaning that on each repetition, any of the enclosed strings is valid. When creating new regular expressions, it is recommended that you thoroughly test them by previewing the quiz and testing various answers. When creating a question, the Check Answers button can tell you whether your regular expression is valid, but not whether it will work for your intended purpose. Regular expressions are useful when a question's correct answer can be written in a variety of ways, and you wish to accept multiple formats as correct.